Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I get so excited when it's time to come to church. Amen. Amen. Get so, so excited. I couldn't wait for this. I was at work. I couldn't sit still. The Holy Ghost is moving. I get so excited. I want to thank God for being here. I want to thank God for everyone who came out, all the friends, all the family. I thank you so much. And uh, it's time to do it. Amen. We got some word for you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. What's up with my mic? Come on. Hold on. You got to hold Amen. Come on. Come on and make some Holy Ghost noise up in this place. some glory on this evening. How many came to give God some glory? Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Most of all, I do not want you to get distracted what the main purpose of this event is. The main purpose of this event is to tear down the walls of Satan. Yeah. Come on and help me in this place. Stand up for a minute and turn around. Let me read the back of your shirt. Stand up for a minute. The back of his shirt says, is I said yes. How many people out in the audience saying yes on this evening? How many say yes to Jesus? No, they didn't Yeah. All right. Me and the young lion ready to roar. Let's do it. Do you know the, the old big lion had to roar to let them know that he was in the jungle and that his roar was loud? He had to let them know he had authority, so I had to scream out and say, Yeah! And when you hear me say that, that means I own the big lion's here. Then when the little lion, what you gonna say, Mike? Yeah! This evening. All right, Deacon. First round, what we doing? First round. First round. Can I say something right quick? Right right Go ahead. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I just want to give a lot of people a little background because I really didn't understand the word until I got into this church. The old lion taught me well. I'm still learning. But I just want to say this that the book of, we come from the book of Timothy. The author of the book of Timothy was the Apostle Paul. He wrote the book in A.D. 62 through 66. The purpose of writing, Paul wrote to Timothy to encourage him in the responsibility of overseeing right, the work of the, Ephesian, <laughs> of the Ephesian church and possibly the other churches in the province of Asia. This letter laid the foundation for ordaining elders and provides guidance for ordaining people in the offices of the church. Yes. In essence, 1 Timothy is a leadership manual for the church organization and its administration. Now, we're going to start this off. Old Lion, you ready? Yes. You sure? Yes. All right. Let's Positive. Let's roll with it. Uh -huh. <laughs> with it. <laughs> All right, now, 1 Timothy 3, 3, 4, and 5 talks about the relationship between man and God and how will a man rule his house. Could you explain further in detail what a man must do to rule his house? One that ruleth well his own house having his children in subjection with all gravity. We're coming from 1 Timothy 3, 4, and 5. This is round one. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, if a man know not how to rule his own what? House. How can he take care of the church of God? So, young lion, the first thing I want to let you know is that, first of all, you are a young lion, so therefore... You have authority. So with that authority be being known, you have the right to rule your house under order. And when you rule your house under order, coming up, young lion, to be the young minister of New Day, you're going to rule the church in order in Jesus' name. Amen. How many know that you can't do nothing if you're not ordered by God? Yeah. Come on, young lion, what you want to say to that? I want to say, stand up, baby. Hallelujah. Stand up. My fiance. My fiance. Hallelujah. 
Amen, amen, amen. I was in service one night. I was in service one night. She was a part of the praise and worship team. I was on the drums, hallelujah. I saw this young lady. She was shining, amen. She had the anointing on her, amen. That's when something starts speaking to me. The Spirit starts speaking to me, amen. The Spirit said, go make that your girlfriend, amen. Don't let her get away. This is your blessing, amen. This is your blessing. I did what God told me to do, amen. Ever since that day, things start shifting, amen. Life starts shifting, amen. Amen. God will give you what you need. You wait on them. God will give you what you need. God said, if you if you rule over little things, I will make you a ruler over many. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Ever since I met that young lady, life has changed. Hallelujah. Blessings on blessings. Blessings on blessings. Yeah. I want to say to my young people, wait on your blessing. Wait on your blessing. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for less. God has more. God has more. Come blessings on. on blessings. Hallelujah. On. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Right. Come on, young lady. Is that all you got? He said, he that ruleth must rule it well. So he put it in order. He got no only a girlfriend, but he got a what? A fiance. That man that found a wife finds a good thing and has favor with God. He's walking in authority. He's walking in order. No more a fornicator. No more after the flesh. But he's walking in the spirit. How will you teach your young lion, my fellow young lion, how and what to teach the people of God? Yes. As I besought thee, I abided all in efforts when I went to Macedonia that thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrines. See, young lion, I'm of the 90s era. I graduated high school in 1997. You're of the 2000 era, and we're now in 2020, and they're still speaking strange doctrines, but you cannot allow them strange doctrines to influence you to preach another doctrine. You have to preach sound doctrine to the crooked, untoward generation that they may hear a youthful young man of your age, not sinning, not doing drugs, not using his body for alcohol or fornication, but holding up the bloodstain banner. Come on, young lion, you tag in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When God says go, I move. I, w- I went to college in um, uh, upstate New York for theology. Hallelujah. God brought me there. I was asking myself, God, why am I here? Come on. Why am I in this strange land? Hallelujah. Why am I here, God? Then I went to my first class, bib- biblical literacy, amen. Biblical literature, amen. And the, the professor was preaching and teaching uh, uh, um, um, things that are contrary to the word of God. Come on. Amen. To the whole flock. It was had to be 40, 50 young uh, women and men in that building. Uh, white, black, uh, anything you want to name. It was very diverse. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Speaking everything contrary to the Bible. Hallelujah. Uh, the main thing that stood out, he was, she was saying... God was born, God was, God is a woman and a man, hallelujah. God is is a woman and a man, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, And at that time, I've always known I was a thorn in the side of unrighteousness, hallelujah, hallelujah. I stood up as I always did, uh, professor. Sorry to uh, interrupt you, but I believe you are speaking things that are contrary to the Bible. Come on, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. She didn't say anything, but after I got done, she wanted to meet with me, hallelujah. What I am saying is you stand for what is right, hallelujah. Even when you're uncomfortable, hallelujah, you stand for what is right. Even when things are telling you not to do it. Even when there are spirits that are saying, Building. You know I'm standing up.
up for righteousness. That's you know right. I'm standing up for what is right. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. You ain't done. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You ain't done yet. Go ahead. Come on. That's just a little bit of the story. Huh? Yes. He said when he's in the building, ain't nothing going on but sound doctrine. You gotta let your presence be made known. When you walk in the building, you ain't walking in the building agreeing with other folks. When you walk in the building, the atmosphere gotta change. Too many of us are changing to please other folks. We gotta let folks change to please our God. speaking something contrary to the doctrine of Jesus Christ. My God and Jesus are one and the same. Come he on. came down as a man. Hallelujah. Come on. Right. He ain't no woman. The devil is a liar. I dare you insult my God. You demon hypocrisy spirit. We bound you in the mighty name of Jesus. He said he came in the resemblance of a man, not no woman. Man. He's a man. Come on, Deacon, we ready for the next round. Three. Okay, Elder, how will you tell our young up-and-coming minister, the young lion, what people do we want in the church? Do we want sinners? Do we want people that are saved? How will you explain that to him through the word of Jesus Christ? How would you explain that to him? So I will say to my young son, hallelujah, according to 1 Timothy 1, 9 and 10, Know that this is the law. It's not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and the disobedient, for the ungodly and for the sinners, and for the unholy and the, prof the profane, the murderers of fathers, murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for homemongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers. For liars. Oh, come on. Didn't Bishop say this morning a liar is contrary yeah. to God's spirit? Yeah. Was y'all listening this morning? Yeah. Hallelujah. For prejudice person. And if there be any other thing that is contrary, so sound this doctrine. Hold on, young minister, before you take off. Because he is ready to go. Um, hold on, we going to get to Hebrews yet? We around three. We just, we just, right now we just jabbing. So we're going to go to Luke 5 and 32. Don't worry, Haymakers is coming. Come on. Now, now young lion, Simba, he said, according to Luke 1 and 32, I came not to call the righteous, but the sinners unto repentance. Go ahead, you win. Hallelujah. I will I ain't always perfect. I wasn't always perfect, hallelujah. But I was faithful to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I was faithful to God. God's arms open for everyone. Hallelujah. If you're still alive, you still have a chance. Hallelujah. If you're still alive, you still have a chance. Every passing moment is another chance to give your life to God. Amen. Like he said, he has, he has. He has heaven for you, but also on earth as it is in heaven. The world is the is the laws and the fulfillment thereof. Hallelujah. Yes. He wants to give you more. Hallelujah. On earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Not just heaven, but on earth. I am a living witness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was doing my dirt. Hallelujah. Sometimes trying to fit in. Hallelujah. But then God said, you, do you know who you are, son? Do you know who you are? Do you know what is living inside you? Hallelujah. Come on. And he let me know by slowing me down, taking my taking me to church, hallelujah, and filling me with the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And everything has changed since that moment, hallelujah. And I thank him for it, hallelujah. Yes, it's yes. your chance. Come it's on. your chance. Come on. 
Everything changed since that moment. Because he didn't call the ones that are sitting in this pew. The one that are sitting here that know God. But he's looking for the men slayers. He's looking for the liars. He's looking for the adulterers, the fornicators, the alcoholics. We ain't making fun of them, but we want them to abide in the building. But when you come in the building, a change is going to come. We don't want people from other churches filling the benches. We want sinners. We want, we want homosexuals. We want backbiters. We want adulterers. God is for you. He loves you. He wants to save you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to set you free. He wants you to know to be yes. Yes, I will. Stop sinning. Yes, I will. Let you take over. Yes, I will. Be delivered. I'm a new man. The old man has passed away. All things are made new. Thank you, Jesus. What round is this? This was round four. Come on, it's time to throw haymakers. I'm about to say you've got them staggering, Elder. Come on. Uh -oh. Now what we need to do is once we hear this doctrine, uh -huh. who do we take heed into? What do we do with this doctrine? So for us to pass God's law. So what I would tell. What I would tell. Come on, Elder. Simba. <laughs> what I would tell Because I'm Mufasa Y'all see my mane See my mane <laughs> Not only Did God give me a mane But he told me I'm walking in authority He told me Anything you ask in my name It shall be given unto you He told me Not only do you have favor but you got different kind of favor Cause you are a married man Anything you ask in my name It shall be given unto you So what I would tell the young lion Take heed to thyself Take heed to what we're doing Not only do we preach the word Not only do we study the word But we live by the word We practice what we preach And we live by it Go ahead young lion Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Where do I want to go with this? Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Take off. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Where do I want to go with this? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, everything he's saying is true. Hallelujah. We live. We're not just hearers of the word. We are doers of the word. Hallelujah. We go out and we live a life that is is uh representing of the, of our father hallelujah come on he is a holy god hallelujah yes. he is a righteous god hallelujah yes. he is a he's an awesome god hallelujah yes. we spread that love we spread that joy to yes. everyone we encounter hallelujah thank you jesus he is the one that we that we look to hallelujah come on he is the one that we pattern our life after hallelujah come on. the bible is just a road map to heaven hallelujah come on. the bible is instruction to when you need him hallelujah come on, hallelujah Simba. can i talk about jesus for a little bit hallelujah yeah. can i talk about my god for a little bit yeah. he is my peace in the midst of the storm hallelujah yeah. he is my strength to move on hallelujah anytime i need him he is right there hallelujah sometimes life gets hard hallelujah sometimes it's a heavy load hallelujah but he's a refresher of my soul hallelujah he is right there, hallelujah. And I want to thank him for it, hallelujah. Like I said, we have to live this thing, hallelujah. We have to live this thing, hallelujah. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are one, hallelujah. You can't know God. You can't know Jesus if you don't have the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. He is a revealer, hallelujah. He is a healer, hallelujah. He is a way maker, hallelujah. God is God, and there is no one but make you Jesus. To thyself. That was the fourth round. Woo. We got five more left. No, we got five more left. What y'all talking about? I got it written down. I didn't talk about five yet. For God have not given us uh, the spirit of fear, huh? but He given us power huh? of love and of a sound. 
I remember a time when I was in high school, hallelujah, hallelujah, there was something playing in a documentary, hallelujah, and I'm in a class full of Caucasians, hallelujah, hallelujah, and uh, what's being said is, if you sin, the man that sinned shall die and go to hell, hallelujah, hallelujah, everyone's laughing and making fun, but I stand up again and I say, hallelujah, the wages of sin is death, hallelujah. Come on. The wages of sin is death, hallelujah. You can't see God if you are sinning, hallelujah. You can't see God if you're living a life that is contrary to the word of God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is nothing, there is no other way, hallelujah. Jesus made it known. He came down as a man, hallelujah. Come on. He went through, like the elder said, what we are going through, hallelujah. He bared, he bared every sin. He bared every sin that is under the sun, hallelujah. Come on. You have no excuse, hallelujah. He has saved us by his grace, hallelujah. And I want to say thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I want to say thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done, hallelujah. I remember a time I didn't know what I was doing, hallelujah. I remember a time there was no purpose on this earth, hallelujah. I remember a time there was no purpose on this earth, hallelujah. But God said, son, you don't even know, hallelujah. You don't even know that you're chosen, hallelujah. You don't even know that you're chosen, hallelujah. You're not only called, but you're chosen, hallelujah. You're chosen to do my will, hallelujah. And I want to thank you, God, hallelujah. If it wasn't for God, I would not be here, hallelujah. If it wasn't for God, Scripture text from number five was second Timothy one seven and eight. Where we at, Deacon? We're in round six. We're in the heavyweight championship rounds. Ooh. All right now, after all this stuff that you guys have talked about, going through, all the stuff that we have to do to please God. Go ahead, how what would you tell? What would you tell this young lion? about being a soldier for Jesus Christ. What would you tell him? How do you tell him to respond to all that criticism, all the hardship that he's going through? Well, first of all, Simba, I will tell you, we live in a tough world. I'm almost 41 years old, and it's hard. But I tell you what, only the strong survive. Yes, yes. It's not about making excuses it's not about quitting getting off course trying to start something over but you still got an open book you gotta endure hardness as a good soldier 
of Jesus Christ symbol. Because it's not going to always be easy. That's right. Everybody's not going to always say amen. There's going to be times when you got to preach in other churches and there's only going to be three members, including you and your wife. That's right. But you got to endure hardness as a good soldier. There's going to come times where people are ridiculing your name and talking about you like a dog because you are doing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. But you got to endure hardness as a good soldier. Yeah. There's going to come times yeah. where brothers, friends, cousins, uncles stab you in your back, walk off and leave you hung for dry. But you got to endure hardness as a good soldier. Your mother endured it. So I know you got some endurance in you. You don't come from no weak folks. You come from my grandfather, which is your grandfather, Bishop Moses Hamrick. You come from Edna May Hamrick. You come from Denise Hamrick Benton. So you got to endure hardness as a good soldier. Go ahead. Sometimes I didn't understand why am I being persecuted so much. Why am I going through so much, God? You said I am yours, so why are you putting me through all the, that I am going through, God? And I realize it's for the, for the purpose, amen. It's for the assignment. He's getting me ready. Hallelujah. He's getting me ready. But like a good soldier, like a strong soldier, I stayed on in there. When I was young, I didn't understand why am I saying I'm a soldier. And I didn't realize why I love that song so. But I can sing it with authority. I can sing it with power now because I understand what it means. Come on. I'm a soldier Come on. in the army of the Lord. Yeah. I'm a soldier. And I can sing it because I understand what it means. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Three more rounds left. Round seven. Where we at? We're at round seven. Now, this is really the championship round. All these things that you've learned, Elder, from your grandfather, Bishop Henry, what would you tell someone to do with those things that he's learned? What would you do, tell him to do? What would I tell this young minister who's in... The 2020 generation. The generation that don't know how to live without the internet. The generation that only knows social media. The generation that don't know how to go up to a girl and tell her she's beautiful. Can I have your number and give you a call? But we live in a generation where they don't know how to talk to folks. But they text, email, direct message. Messenger, but I would say to Simba in 2020, continue the things that thou has learned from thy forefathers. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, but men shall be lovers of their own selves. When everyone around when everyone around you don't believe, hallelujah. When everyone around you know the truth, but uh 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 tossed to and fro by anything that they hear, hallelujah, hallelujah. But like I said, I'm always in that situation. God always has me in that situation where all the young people around me, all the older young people, all the younger older people that are around me saying, how can you believe this when you heard about this? Did you hear about this story? Did you hear about this truth? Did you hear about, what about this? But I always lean on to what God has taught me, hallelujah. I always lean on to what was instilled since I was a 
young kid. I always lean on to the common sense, hallelujah. I said to the, the young people, why would you lean on your understanding, hallelujah? We weren't meant to know everything, so why do you try to make sense of everything, hallelujah? We have God, and that's all we need, hallelujah. He asked you to uh, do a work, produce and multiply, produce good fruit. Why don't you just do that and let God lead your way? Let God do the do the what the work on earth. Hallelujah. Don't lead to your own understanding. All confusion is of the devil. Hallelujah. When it comes, you know that it's uh, of the devil. Hallelujah. Confusion is of the enemy. Hallelujah. Lean on God. Lean on your understanding of the word. Hallelujah. If you don't know, ask. All right. Rock and roll. Come on. Round eight. But, uh, Elder, I think Mike is catching up on. He said some stuff I didn't hear in a minute. Come on. He said we weren't meant to know everything. Come on. So how do we expect to know everything? Listen to what he said. Yes. yes. See, the old lion could teach the new lion some tricks himself. There you go. Why? I know why, because it's round eight. Come on. Round eight is what would you teach that young lion about his ministry? What? Well, what I would tell the young lion, what I would tell the young lion, according to 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter, verses 1 through 6, I charge thee, Michael David Clark, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his, at his kingdom, preach the word, Mike. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endorse our doctrine, Mike. Huh? But after their own lust, huh? so they heap to themselves, huh? teaching heaven its years. Huh? And they shall turn away huh? their ears huh? from the truth huh? and shall be turned unto fables. Huh? But watch thou. Huh? And do the work of a man. Make full proof. Make full proof. Make full proof of thy ministry. Not my ministry. Of thy ministry. Study to show thyself approved. You don't need to be ashamed. Because you know you already stretched out on the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Preach! Preach! Study to show thyself approved. Hallelujah. A workman, rightly dividing the word of truth, need not be ashamed. Hallelujah. Of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You can't. Ooh, hallelujah. And anything you go to do, you can't be great if you're not working. Hallelujah. You can't be great if you're not practicing. Hallelujah. I take my mentality in anything I go to do. Hallelujah. I was a great basketball player. I was a great football player. I was a great boxer. I worked hard at everything I went to do. Hallelujah. Now it's time to do what I am chosen to do. Hallelujah. Come on. They didn't know that I was just gifted to, bas to play basketball. They didn't know I was just gifted to play football. Hallelujah. There you go. They didn't know I was just gifted to throw a jab. Hallelujah. But the, what they didn't know, hallelujah, is that I'm called and chosen to do yeah. the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. It took a while, hallelujah. But now you see, hallelujah. Now I'm going to put all I got, all I got. Hallelujah. I'm going to give it all I got. Hallelujah. I want my reward. Hallelujah. I want my crown that's laid up for me. A crown of righteousness, hallelujah. Not only do I want that on heaven, heaven, hallelujah. I want what's waiting for me on earth, hallelujah. Do you want what's waiting for you on earth, hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you want what's waiting for you in heaven, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you don't believe it, I am sorry, hallelujah. But, 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 but if you don't believe it, huh? He said he's sorry, huh? He gotta make full proof, huh?
Hallelujah. What does that mean? Don't worry about a thing. Hallelujah. Don't worry about a thing because God got your back. When God is for you, the whole world can be against you. Hallelujah. God has got your back. If God is for you, then the whole world could be against you. I don't care how it looks right now. I don't care how it looks in, a, in tomorrow. But a couple of days later, in the future, God has worked it out already. Hallelujah. You haven't seen what he's done. Hallelujah. You haven't seen all he's done. Hallelujah. He's blessed you now. He's blessed you before. But you haven't seen the blessings that God has for you. Hallelujah. So just stand still. Hallelujah. And have faith. Hallelujah. Let your soul be anchored. Hallelujah. Let your soul stand still. Hallelujah. When everyone is talking around you. When persecutions are going on. When wife is acting up. When boyfriend is acting up. When girlfriend is acting up. When brothers are not doing it. You just got to do your thing. Hallelujah. You got to be who you are. Hallelujah. You just have to do it. Hallelujah. Have faith. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. And he will take care and supply every need. Hallelujah. I, I, I. I see a revival up in this place. The young and the old. All them generations need to be saved, changed, and delivered. Not only do the young people need to be inspired in 2020, but the old folks need them old demons and be delivered and set free and changed. Y'all gonna pursue faith too, you old devils. You gotta stand out on your faith like the young folks. Ain't no use to get mad at the young, but get with them. In these last days, support the young man, support our youth, let them know they can make it, they can endure, yeah! Mike, you doing good, man I wish I had, you gotta understand something, God does everything for a purpose, it was purpose for me to go through what I went through when I was a young boy, so I could be a strong man, cause God knew that Bishop was gonna have five sons, And I can show you how to be a man, how to love a woman, how to be a father, how to be faithful to God. Because God put me here to be the man for a new day. Not only for my son, but for my nephew too. For Tyrell, for every boy. 
been my boy. I don't care. Mike always been my boy. You was made from a little baby. Walking around in your pamper huh, with a suit jacket on. Huh, playing your little, playing, playing your little drum. Huh. You was a man of God in your mother's belly. Huh, when she went to the service huh, and the prophet huh, told her dead in your face. Huh, what's in your stomach huh, is a great man of God. You're doing, you're doing what you're predestined to do. We got one round left. One round. You might as well let us tear it up. Tear it up. You tear might as well up. let us tear it up. Out of all the things that you've learned. Round 10. Round 10. Come on. All the things you've learned, all the things that you've taught this young man. Come on. What would you tell that young man to do if everything fell in his life? So all I got to tell you. How does that? All I got to tell you. <laughs> men of stuff. Michael David Clock The third child Out of a womb That was locked up You gotta understand Every last one of you clock boys See in order to get Where you're going You gotta understand where you came from You came from a woman uh, Who was barren uh, You came from a woman uh, Who couldn't have Kids, huh? But like Rachel, huh? she cried out, huh? she cried huh? until her change came. Huh? She said, I ain't drunk, huh? but I'm under the Holy Ghost, huh? crying out to Jesus huh? for a seed. Huh? And what God said, huh? not only am I going to give you a seed, huh? but I'm going to give you five seeds, huh? five prophets huh? to do the will of the Lord. Huh? And what I'll tell you, Mike, huh? is the fight on. Huh? Hallelujah. I'm fighting with you, hallelujah. 
So you already have the victory. That's what they don't understand. You have the victory. That's why you can smile. That's why you can smile. That's why you can run. That's why you can move. When it looks like you can't move. Hallelujah. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on.